Hey everybody, this is Final Film Productions back with another uh, Terminator Dark Fade video. Uh, today I uh, react to the uh, first reactions to the movie. Um, seems to be mostly from what I've read. Uh, American critics have uh, seen the movie and they've tweeted the reactions. The articles online are sharing these reactions and are uh, labeling, them, labeling them as a positive reaction. Um, I first thought well, that's pretty good. Um, then I started to read who was actually making these reviews and uh, the track record that these websites and um, these people have for their opinions on reviews and then the actual tweets reviews themselves that I read um, made me a little bit more skeptical about that uh, perception that these are um, this is a sign the movie is going to be good. I'll be seeing the movie Wednesday probably, and I'll give my review then. Uh, but in terms of these reviews, um, the the people reviewing it are people from Collider, IGN, um, sites like that, which you know people may have their own opinion on those sites. I take those sites with a large grain of salt. Uh, they've reviewed. Uh, they've had some really strange and idiotic reviews for movies and games. Uh, in recent years, uh, I just look back to uh, the if you're a, if you're a gamer, the Days Gone review where they made a complete disaster of the review and they started talking about politics and they started to uh, just bring in a lot of nonsense that has nothing to do with reviewing the actual game uh, and nitpicking stuff that made no sense. IGN does that a lot, um, and. Uh, Collider used to be a lot more. Uh, I mean, the Collider has some uh, has some pretty trustworthy people. Um, uh, they also have their fair share of idiots. I won't name people. I don't want to, uh, you know, slag people. But uh, let's just say there's people in IGN and people in Collider who uh, you could trust, and there's people that you uh, wouldn't trust. Um, in terms of some of the reviews, there's uh, Haley from uh, I, uh, IGN. Uh, she reviews. I think she's IGN. Um, her review is quite a. Um, she says it's a personal review, and she's that's her right to give that review. Fair enough, but it focuses on uh, focuses on gender and politics and stuff like that, and I that's a red flag for me because I don't really care about that stuff. I just want to know about the movie. Um, she says, uh, for her queer ladies, you are not prepared for how much Mackenzie Davis is going to F your life up in Terminator Dark Fred. I would die for Grace, and you would too. You just don't know it. Um, fair enough. You know, I've went to see many movies where I'm attracted or um, excited by a certain actor and positive for me, but again, I don't look at that tweet and go, oh, this movie's going to be awesome. I look at that tweet and go, it's kind of irrelevant to me. Uh, you've got Ben M Meckler. Ben Meckler's tweet is actually probably the most interesting. He talks about the uh, the physicality and the, the the sound effects of the movie make it feel more impactful, which uh, is a fair point. Something like that's a lot more interesting to, to me to hear than uh, people talking about uh, the gender and politics of the actors in the movie. Um, so that's a pretty good, interesting tweet. Uh, you have Peter Scaret Scaretta. Uh, he 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 thinks it's the Force Awakens of the Terminator franchise, which <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Um, but Force Awakens just retreaded and redone uh, uh, the first um, d d uh, Star Wars movie, so um, they don't think the Terminator franchise needs more uh, redoing and rehashing um, especially if it's gonna be its own thing and spawn more sequels Steven Weintraub who is the kind of head guy at Collider um, he's a guy I, qu I actually quite like he he does some cool uh, long-form uh, interviews and stuff like that and he seems like a pretty interesting guy but again he focuses mainly on the gender of the he says it's you know it's having three female protagonists is you know kick ass and stuff like that um to me i'm not that interested in that we all know that there's uh there's three main female actors grand but 
you know, is that the only thing that you that ex interested you and excited you? Uh, somebody did point out that he was a big fan of Terminator Genesis, which would make you question his Terminator opinion. Um, because, you know, I was a big fan of Terminator Genesis up until I seen the movie. And when I seen it, I knew that it was a disaster in terms of a Terminator movie. Um, so again, I couldn't be trusting this guy's reviews. Um, you got Perry N uh, Nerma too. Uh, she says the best since T2. Again, that's not high praise because the the last three have been extremely mixed to terrible. Um, and again, she, you know, talks about Mackenzie Davis, who's, which is getting a lot of good reviews, which is good. But then again, uh, a lot of these reviews are basing that around the fact that she's a woman and not the fact that her character is good, which I don't doubt her character is good. But um, that's the point of these reviews is that you focus on things and you sort of you diminish the impact of these characters by just focusing on their gender and saying, it's great because they're women instead of it's great because their acting is good. It's great because their character is extremely interesting. It's got lots of, um, you know, you know, Sir Connor was is still remembered and praised today because not because she was simply standing there as a woman, but she was standing there as an extremely interesting and uh, in exciting character. Um, you know, I, I I get the impression Mackenzie Davis probably is a good character. Not so sure about Danny Ramos, who one of the reviews says is a terrific actor. Uh, the uh, trailers didn't, and the clips I've seen haven't brought across that point, but maybe in the movie she will uh, change my mind. Uh, you've got Jim, uh, IGN's Jim Vejovia. I, I, some of these uh, surnames, I, I'm, I'm going to ruin the pronunciation, so I won't bother. Uh, Jim from IGN. Uh, he tries to say that the less Arnold, uh, the better, and that's the reason that the good Terminator, Terminator movies worked, which is probably the biggest, the most idiotic uh, thing anybody has said about Terminator in quite a while, and that's saying something, because Arnold was a massive part of T1. He was in pretty much most of the movie. Uh, he was in pretty much most of Terminator 2 as well. Uh, so I don't really see why he's saying that less Arnold is better because for all, for all the, the best parts of every Terminator movie, even the bad ones, has been Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, so again, that seems a red flag for me. And for me in general, these reviews don't change my opinion. Uh, these are from people who are basing much of their opinion on politics and not really on the movie itself. And uh, I wouldn't be trusting Collider and IGN people to um, to let me know if a movie's good because these are the people that rant and rave about every MCU movie, even the really crap ones. Uh, these are the same people that th thought the Jurassic World was a return to form for the Jurassic Park franchise, which was complete nonsense. Um, you know, these are people I would not trust, and um, that's not me being negative, that's just me being honest. It's, you know, there, there's there's people that, um, you know, Mark Kermode's another guy who um, I, I think is extreme. I actually do like him a lot as a critic, but I wouldn't trust his reviews. Um, I wouldn't let them make me stay away from movies because he has a different... Uh, he has a different outlook and a different uh, taste in movies than I would, so again, I'll see the movie this week, I'll give you my review then, but these uh, w these reviews, uh, these tweets don't, uh, don't fill me with any more positivity than I had before. What do you think about these reviews? Do you trust them? Let me know.